Back again with another way of using your Plan 9 network, this time using draw term. Uh, this is one of those things where the legacy Plan 9 and 9 front diverge, so if you are using 9 front, be sure to get draw term from them. You can see they're using updated encryption stuff that's available in 9 front. So if you're using Windows, you can just grab the exe for Unix based systems, just download the code and go ahead and build it. I did have to get some dev libraries for X to get this to work. Um, you can just Google the missing file names and any errors that show up and uh, they'll usually say what package you need to download to get them. And there we go. So even in Windows, you'll probably want to run this in the command line because you get quite a few little options. Um, so dash H is the one to specify the host that you'll be logging into. So I'll put in the address I have for the demo file system. You can specify a dash A for um, a specific authorization server, but I'll skip that. And then dash U for the user. There's also a dash R option, but I'll explain that later. So it's going to assume that the authorization server is the same one as the host, which in this case it is. And then you put in password for your user. And here we are. And I went and added some stuff. Do a quick run through of some of the customization I did here with our demo user. So I added a Rio start option. Add the stats, the clock, and the little window watcher program. And also added the option in profile so it will run the Rio start script at startup. I also had to add it for the CPU case here. Because as you can see, if you run a terminal, it says CPU, and that's because we're running off the file server. So draw term is a lot closer to VNC or remote desktop. Um, so it's not like a terminal in the plan nine sense. And plan nine, a terminal usually means it's you can execute lo code locally, um, even if you're pulling the data in remotely. So this does have its limits. It also means any options you might want to play with in the profile. Um, if you're doing draw term stuff, you'll also have to add it to the CPU case. As far as namespace stuff goes, um, what's basically doing is making a nine front like graphical window on your host system, taking your host's mouse and keyboard and attaching it to the CPU server. So in this case, that's a demo FS. So a nice feature of using uh, draw term is that it shares the snarf buffer with the host system's clipboard. So you can copy and paste text between the two. Um, another interesting thing, and this was part of that dash R option I mentioned, Go to mount term. You can see here that this has the user for the Linux system I'm on here. What this mount term is, is actually a kind of union mount of some draw term stuff and the host system's root, um, root of the file system. 
So using the dash R option, you can specify where you want that root to be. You can put that in your home directory if you want. And this makes for an easy way to move files back and forth between one computer and the plan nine file server. So it's one of the many reasons draw terms kind of handy. Um, Browser support in Plan 9 is pretty archaic. IRC works, but Discord doesn't. Um, in my case, I'm doing the video editing on a Linux machine, but I'll do the walkthroughs and write everything up in a Plan 9 system and have draw term up on a second monitor while recording. Um, so yeah, it's kind of just a handy way of accessing your network just using any computer around, and it's a pretty lightweight program. Uh, I hope this helps. Uh, go ahead and leave any questions or comments below, and have fun.